Good morning everyone and welcome to the homestead. My name is Jason and this is my channel Life to Live For. So, here a little bit ago, it's actually been uh, a couple weeks, uh, we got a new addition. And here it is. We did some bartering and got ourselves a new home. It's a 29 foot uh, Fleetwood Wilderness Cimarron. And it took pretty much an entire day to go and get it, but so far it seems like it's going to be worth it. Been sitting in the woods for the past six years. Got some green stuff growing on it, but that's all right. It can always be cleaned up. Let's go ahead and go on inside and have a look around. Right, we're already in the process of doing some cleaning. It was raining the other day, so I just piled a bunch of stuff in here. Didn't want things to get wet, but there's one big plus right here, an actual mattress, the real deal. No more sitting on a foam pad or anything like that. Got some nice windows, they all work so far. All the cabinets open. I think down there is where it's going to be our dirty laundry. We did notice all these little holes. Not exactly sure what they're from or what they're for. Uh, my best guess is to let warm air in to warm up clothes or just the space in there. Uh, we don't have any power hooked up right now, so we can't turn on any lights. Uh, didn't come with any propane tanks or batteries, so we're going to have to take the whole entire system from the other camper which is right over there and put it in this one and I got lots and lots of storage space oh hey Scribble you want to come in and see? hi it's my cat Scribble like I said we did do some cleaning already we found uh, there was an animal living in here a rat, squirrel, something there was a nest underneath the bed by the water heater as all the insulation from the water heater was tore up and made into a, a nest there's a nest underneath the futon which is kind of custom built I'm not sure why he did it but there's a new board down there it doesn't fold out anymore I'm gonna figure out what to do with this big mattress I think we're just gonna get a new one and let's go back this way I missed over the bathroom now the bathroom we haven't touched yet with cleaning, so I'm going to apologize. But it's a lot bigger than ours in the other camper. The other camper had just one shower basin with the toilet in it and a sink. So it was like an all-in-one unit. And this one actually has, a, what do they call it, a soaking tub with a shower. There's the shower head right there. We've got some some mold from sitting around you no know, airflow and stuff it has got a separate sink there's the toilet so far it's a lot better condition than the camper we're living in and I did think something was really interesting they got this toilet paper holder here and I think this one in here is the factory one I think you can see that there yeah there's one side of it and there's the other and you have the toilet paper right there thought that was pretty interesting got a little bit of insulation not on right there's the the wheel well and got some ducting for the for the furnace and that I've already tested out and it works wonderfully just hope we have enough solar power to run it or I should say battery power battery capacity because it's nighttime that's going to be the big issue well, that's my friend's cat. That's that's Dudu. Hi Dudu. Bye Dudu. Yeah, we got uh, there's the thermostat there for the heater. The thermometer. Ooh. Oh, it's in Celsius. I'm gonna say it's not five degrees in here. But anyways, might have to switch that out. 
Give me more storage space there. We have an air conditioner. Uh, we don't have a powerful enough generator to run it. Probably try to find one of the RV generators on Craigslist to wire up and, and do that by next summer. It's not a big deal. And so far, I'm, since it's raining, I'm actually looking around, make sure there are no leaks as well. This is the first time I've been in here since it rained, and it rained overnight. Uh, looks like here, you can see the discoloration. There used to be a divider, so I'll probably put one of those back in. Let's see where it would connect there or here, but there's a discoloration going up and down here as well. So that's the back half. And here, I'm going into the kitchen. Really good sized kitchen. Little dining table. There looks like there used to be a booth here. Somebody had pulled it away. You can see all the you know, sheetrock work, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure it would be called in a, a camper. It's not sheetrock. It's more like a, a veneer or a plywood. Got our cleaning supplies here table with leaves that fold up, one on this side and one on the other. Bar stools. They are a little bit tall or the table's a little bit short, one or the other. Uh, we'll see what we have to do about that. Here's the back half of where the old booth used to be. I think we're going to put like a curtain or something here and I don't know what we put back there but some kind of storage. Nice big sink. Once again, apologize. We're working on cleaning. It's pretty awesome size sink. Great stove. The person that we got this from said he was jealous of this stove. This stove is uh, in better condition than the one that he has. But the one thing that I love about it is that right there. That is a pilot light. The other camper doesn't have a little pilot light on it, so we have to light it each and every time. And most more times than not, if you go to light it, it just it poofs and flames go everywhere. You got the hood, you got the propane slash 120 volt refrigerator. This had a mouse, it had a, uh, I don't want to say a mouse nest, but it had a uh, an animal nest in it. It's a lot bigger than our refrigerator, our little electric one that we have over there. And you see where it's been gnawed on down there. That I'm going to seal that up with some silicone or something like that. But with our old fridge, this right here was about the size of the fridge and freezer. Luckily, this whole thing's the fridge down here. And up there's the actual freezer, like individual, like separated. I'm really excited about that. I'm probably going to come in here within the next day or two and finish cleaning it. I'm still working on some issues with the propane system. We've got plenty more storage space down here. Perfect for silverware. Some bigger stuff. Pots and pans maybe down there. Maybe in here. Uh, that's pretty shallow. Uh, got a glare on the camera from the sun. Sun also hasn't been out for a couple of days. So it's turning out to be pretty nice. I'm not sure why there's a wall outlet in there, but oh well. But all this is storage. There's just so much more storage. I think all the storage in our camper and the pickup camper consisted of everything that's here as far as storage space goes and that's pretty much it and then the closet would consist of that first closet back there you can zoom in the first closet that I showed you and that would be it for the clothes and then here's something neat anybody got any tape decks? It works. For some reason there's no like on off switch on it so I have to pull the fuse in order to turn it off. But oh well, not a big deal. Got some old seeds. 
some poppy mix. I might just plant those and just see what grows, if anything. It's a good chance those are about six years old as well. A typical readout, that clock, I don't think that clock even works. Have the generator going and set the time. I don't think it's moved. And you got your water level. You can press this to find out the uh, level of the fresh water or in your individual holding tanks. I'm not sure which one is which yet. It's just one and two. It doesn't say gray or black. And then, of course, the battery, which this I'm actually going to take out and put a digital, one of the digital ones that we have so we can constantly see how much power is in there. And right here, there was a weird pinkish orangish chair in fact if I go out here to the front you might be able to see it sitting there yeah that thing was covered in animal turds and urine and stuff like that so it's probably not going to come back in here but instead here is where our little uh, fireplace is going to go, or a little wood stove. I'm probably just going to put it here and v take the stovepipe right out the uh, the window there, have a piece of sheet metal, put a hole in it, so go out and up. I know ideally you would want the as much of the stovepipe inside, you know, just for the heat, but I really don't want to put any holes in the ceiling or in the roof doesn't appear to be leaking right now so I'd like to keep it that way and got a little spot this is where a TV would be it's 12 volt plug for a 12 volt TV and the antenna hookup and then that's for the uh, for the park if you're in an RV park I'll let a hole for cords to go down and one of the things I need to work on here oh and that's another thing a couple things need to be worked on this door latch has been made to stay open I'm guessing it seized or something so I gotta at the very least switch this one with the one in the back because I'd rather come in through the front door with this linoleum you know get all the mud and dirt out here first before we track it in onto the nice carpet as you can see it's been replaced but here's, here's another thing we'll latch here is missing off of this Got some storage in here towards the slide out storage a shelf Got more down there this is really just an immense amount of storage compared to what we're used to and then going back through here's another closet and they have little lights in here once again there's no power so the lights not going to come on so this might be, I don't know, for winter coats or something. A bunch of spare parts here, light covers, uh, drawer pulls, stuff like that. It's for the, uh, the porch lights, outlet, you know, different things here and there. <coughs> and then, so did I show these? I don't think I did, but that's pretty good amount of storage in there and then you got that one which we already showed no oh, we even got a spare set of blinds there's a broken blinds up front behind the futon so there's that to replace that but there's ample storage in here just a lot of a lot of space there there those two and then here's another one. This actually has a little rack up there to put your coat hangers on. This would be t-shirts, folded up pants, or something like that. Alright, so and there you have it. A new home on the homestead. And hopefully we'll be very comfortable here. Bye. <laughs>